Cool, you lashy tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Curse of the Azure Bonds with me, Blue Anculo. Last episode, we began exploring the uh, the city of Yulash, or the stronghold, I guess it is, and uh, we're doing pretty good. We got some new armor, you know, we, we're learning stuff, we're having some good combat. Um, apparently, there's not much going on here. I think a lot of these are traps, and uh, what may be happening is uh, we have uh, a thief who's preventing our traps or something. Oh no, this was... We already went into that room. Checkpoint, yada yada. We haven't been to the south side yet. So let's let's start along here. A band of Zentil keep marauders jump you. Well, that's not very nice. Definitely a uh, mage over there. Let's try to hit this cleric. Good job, good job. Fellow by guns, you hit the cleric as well. Okay, don't hit the cleric. I'm going to move you to here and cast... Ooh, Cone of Cold! Yeah, let's see if we can get that working. Here we go. Well, it theoretically could hit four of them. I'll be impressed if it hits... I, I, I never know how to aim a Cone of Cold. I'm going to aim it this way. and No, I'm going to aim it this way. We'll see what happens. Well, it hit two. It did not hit all of them. Uh, I didn't even see how much damage it did, but it did kill the uh, mage. So, I was expecting it to hit this guy, and maybe even that guy, but... Oh, well. Cone of Cold, I give it a... It's a good spell, but it's difficult. It's very difficult. So now we're going to get kind of bogged down here. A bit of a slug fest. But, uh. We're taking them down pretty quick. Haven't taken too much damage yet. Haven't taken too much damage, I said. Please in panic. Alright, I don't think you're going to be able to escape, buddy. Nice try. Alright, another group of Zentil dead. So, if we wanted more money, you know what you'd do? You would take the bracers and sell them for tons of money. A cleric scroll! That's our first, um, first clerical scroll of the game. We shall take it. Um, I don't think we need any more splint mail either. I could theoretically get one for, uh, Mystic, but I don't think he needs it. Nope. Um. I mean, I could give the Ring of Protection to Alucard, but his shield, he would have to use a different shield. Nah, he's fine. Yeah, we're fine as it is. No, no, I don't want to take any more stuff. We've got too much money as it is, so don't worry about it. Christina notices a possible sinkhole in your path and leads you around it. How did you notice that, Christina? Isn't that supposed to be Alucard's job? I'm not complaining, it's just kind of funny. Okay, red plume guards to the east. You could say hello. How's it going, guys? Yeah, just, just want to say hello. I'm going to check this. Whoa, what the heck? Shambling mounds rise up from the debris around you. Well, uh... Maybe first, we should see what a shambling mound actually is, because I am not super familiar with these things. I mean, they look kind of shambly and mound-like. <clears throat> so, uh, let's, let's go have a look at the bestiary. Do, do, do. Shambling mounds, level 7, that's pretty high. These huge creatures resemble animated piles of moss and slime. They attack with their club-like arms and can smother opponents in their slime. That sounds bad. Their slimy forms are immune to fire and strengthened by lightning. Well, I'm glad I read that. So I guess ice, then, would be the way to kill them. And, I mean, well, hmm. You know, you usually would think moss would burn. But I guess the slime protects it, so we just freeze them instead. Sure, whatever. We'll see how my kind of... What kind of AC and, and HP they've got. B 
before I commit to a ton of magic. Oh, look at these guys. Swamp monsters. AC zero, quite a lot of HP indeed. All set up for a nice lightning bolt if we had the ability. All right, well, we'll try a cone of cold with somebody. We'll try and focus on this one first. Two damage, that's not very good. 10 damage, that's a bit better. Um, we're gonna delay here. Elric, you're gonna move over here and cast ice. It's actually the wrong spot, dang it. Oops, that, that was really bad. High quality here, guys, high quality. Ice storm, well, I can't even target, oh, well. Let's target it here so we hopefully don't hit our group. It didn't do very much damage. I mean, Ice Storm's a roll from 3 to 30, so it could have just been bad luck. Okay, what I'm going to do is try to cast Cone of Cold here. Hopefully I can do this without hitting my guys. It's a mystery. I don't understand it. All right, well, so offensive magic seems pretty bad. Um, let's try the old stinking cloud. It worked on the Oatugs, except I can't target where I want to target. Of course not. It does work. He just didn't. He just wasn't affected. But they're not immune to it. Is the key here? So that's a good hit. Let's, um... Oh, you've already been damaged, so you can't... I was going to cast a spell, but we can't. Ouch. These guys are pretty tough. We're definitely not doing enough damage to them is the trouble here. Four damage is just pathetic. How can we even do three damage? That's, like, below what our... Minimum plus bonuses. Christina, this is not looking very good. Okay, we got one. Ah. Okay, we got two down. Keep working for keep working, Earth Darkness. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Why don't we try a slow spell here? Let's try also a prayer quickly. Should have cast that earlier, honestly. We're going to cast slow here. It should just affect them. Okay, that's a good sign. That was less good, the fact that she got interrupted there. I was really hoping to get healed. Ah, dang it. I think Christina's going to go down. I'm sorry, Christina. Um, I literally have to move Mystic into the smoke to be able to cast uh, what I need to cast. So, let's try to get a, a prayer going. Oops. That's a little. That's a little bit more AC. Um can only heal from touch range, so I can't really get close enough to help her. Bless also won't help her because she's already engaged. We could try Fairy Fire to reduce their, uh, their, um, AC. I don't know if it'll work. Sure, give it a shot. Target. Of course not. Okay, Fairy Fire, stupid druid spells. Useless. Um, oh man, this is not good. Hold monster, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's our savior. I don't know, maybe magic missiles or something. We need to do damage to these things. Ten damage. That's, Christina just can't get a break. Magic missiles seem to do damage, at least. That's pretty good. Well, two damage. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, one another one down. 
Everyone, load up the magic missiles! Christina! Uh... Just heal yourself, quickly! Uh, there's not much Fella could do. Fella could try to charge in there. Alright, Fella. Yeah, you're good. Don't worry about it. Good work. More magic missiles. We got lots of magic missiles on Mystic. Alright, Earth Darkness, charge in there. Oh, you managed to heal yourself. Excellent. Come on, big roll here, Christina. It's important. That was a 10. That was good. I think we may have been able to keep her alive. Whoo! This is a tough fight. Way more than I was expecting. We'll just keep throwing magic missiles here. Target. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, so magic missiles, very, very good. Uh, most of the other spells, pretty useless. Not going to continue. Fair bit of XP, no loot. Let's uh, try to get healed up here quick. Or at least pff, not so dying. I still haven't set up more Cure Serious Wounds. Ugh. One of these days i got to really rearrange our spells better again. Still can't decide what I really want to set them up for. Like which, how many of which ones, you know. I think if I can get everyone above uh, 50 HP, I'll be pretty happy. Cure Serious Wounds? And we'll throw that on uh, Christine, I guess. Alright, I think that's all of our healing. Oh yeah, of course, I always forget. Um, Earth Darkness has Cure Light Wounds now. And he also has... How do I even do that? Here, View, Heal. This should heal 18 points, like, guaranteed. Um, I'll save it, actually. I always forget about Lay on Hands. It's, it's really good, though. Alright, in camp, save a... Okay. Alright, we burned through a lot of spells here, but let's, let's try to finish exploring this building before we go rest. You know, these guys haven't put up too much fight lately. The mages, I'm always worried about, but... So far, they've only ca managed to cast one spell. There we go. Good. Oh, I can't move any further here. Oops. I forgot that there was that uh, zone of control for that this fighter. Target. Got him. Got him. Very nice. And of course the stupid mage is immune to that. I, I keep forgetting about that. Um, okay, hold on. A lightning bolt here could be hilarious. Aim manual. Let's see. How could we do a good lightning bolt? Oh yeah, we're going to put our guy right here. Cast lightning bolt this way. Go bam, bam, bam. Reflect, bam. Bam, bam, if we're lucky. I don't use lightning bolts very often, but they're good in this sort of situation. I haven't really demonstrated them enough, so I'm trying to remember to, to use more spells. Alright, here we go. Target this guy. Bam, dead. Bam. Um, what just happened there? The mage, the mage was immune to a lightning bolt, which doesn't, I mean, he must, they must just automatically have global invulnerability, which is garbage. Then he cast fear, which mostly hit Alucard, Christine, and Elric, as well as one of theirs, I think. And then, instead of running away, Christina cast Ice Storm? I didn't queue up Ice Storm, did I? She cast it, I didn't. Wow, that was weird. I mean, Fella McGubbins took some damage, but other than that, I mean, it was a pretty good Ice Storm. It, she could have just cast it a little bit further over, it would have been better, but... Weird. Yeah, instead of running... What the heck is this? It's... What is... What? It says forced to flee, 
And then they cast a spell. It's not confusion. This guy cast fear. What a load. Yeah. Forced to flee. Cast stinking cloud. That is not... That is not what forced to flee means. I just had to kill that mage. Forced to flee seems to turn them on automatic. It doesn't seem to turn them to actual fear. It just seems to be, I lose control. Like, that's... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I mean, we win. Yeah, it's good. It's good. But I didn't like that fight. Not one bit. Well, now I'm going to fix. And I don't feel bad at all. Because that, that was a cheaty encounter. Sounds like basically we've got a uh, a spell that's not really working as it's supposed to. The fear spell is supposed to just make you forced to run away so that the enemy gets back attacks. But what happened was it seems to force your, your characters to go to quick mode, quick combat mode, and they just start throwing down ice storms and fireballs in the middle of my party. That is way worse. That's a confusion spell or something worse than that. Wow. Not happy about that, anyway. Alucard notices that the walls are very weak in this area and leads you past them. Okay. Thanks, Alucard. Good work. Oh, good. More shambling mounds. <sighs> Alright, we can do it. It's for the XP. So there's quite a few of them again. I didn't relearn my spells, so we don't have any ice storms. Um... Fire and lightning don't work. Magic missile does work. Stinking cloud sort of works. Stinking cloud is probably still the best one, if you can get it to work. Because they're still one shot if it does take effect. Gonna throw a stinking cloud down up here as well. Maybe, maybe we'll get them. I don't know. Um, let's try a bestow curse. I've like never managed to do that before, so it's, it's worth a shot. Definitely burned through a lot of spells with these guys. Should have uh, restored some, but. More stinking clouds. Yeah, I got one. That's better than nothing. Bestow curse. So it is at range one only. Let's cast it on this guy up here. He'll be our first target. It didn't work. <laughs> Why do I even try to use those kind of spells? They always seem good until you actually try. And she switched to her bow, of course. Um, I mean, maybe we could get a good ice storm here. Maybe. This guy's already helpless, but still. Either we're getting horrible rolls. Well, that was really nice. That's really nice. Okay, well, I don't know if they were just getting really bad luck on our ice storms, or if they're... The game didn't say they resisted um, ice damage, but maybe they did anyway. Still, we got really lucky. We've paralyzed three of them. What? Oh, you're wasting our special darts. Isn't that nice? One of the things about that fear spell is it causes them to switch to range and allows them to equip very rare special stuff like that. Isn't that nice? Try to focus down this one first. And you can keep killing the weak ones. Okay, now I think this one is helpless, so it actually is in our interest to uh, switch over to a bow here for a second. Just to make sure it's dead before it recovers. There we go. Funny how. 
an arrow normally does like against like if I use an arrow against one of these guys while they're not um, choking, it'll just do like one damage because they'll 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 they must be absorbing damage or something. Um, but if they're if they're choking, it just kills them instantly with with the same arrow that normally does no damage. These things are covered in moss and slime. Like it's it's kind of funny how it works, but. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, it's just, it's a little bit awkward. Uh, yeah, like, so if I attack with a short bow normally, I mean, five damage, you know, it's about the same as a, as a weapon, I guess, but five damage is a long shot off of the 70, it just instantly killed that other one. Uh, done, guard. Alright, got some XP's. Team did okay. Let's save up. I'm uh, satisfied. I wish we had... Let's let's find out how long we can rest out here. Let's add... 8 hours. Yeah, you know what? Fix. And restore spells. I don't feel like I'm cheating now. I waited a while. It's all good. It's either that or I just walk back to the barracks every time I want to rest up. But seeing as the game lets you rest up anyway, it's all good. Oh good, more. Only two this time, should go a little bit faster. What we should do here is hopefully nail them both with a stinking cloud. Come on. Nope. Ah, they, they saved. You are not fighting with a short bow. Sorry, Elric. I don't care if you think that's a good idea. It's a horrible idea. Okay, can we just kill two of these things normally is the question. Without using a whole lot of magic. Well, Elric is not doing so good. Can't move. Still did good hits. I think two shambling mounds isn't the worst. We still take quite a lot of damage from these things. Alright, but not too bad. We can do enough damage, they go down quick. You know what's faster than worrying about cure light wounds and all that? Trying to fix. Some dirty robe people appear ahead. I've never met these people. Let's say hello. Parley. They just fled. Maybe you need to be in a building to rest up. People dressed in rags. Just wait. They just flee. Seems like most of the people here are pretty much not a threat. Yeah, we fixed. Maybe you just can't uh, rest on the road. That's fine. All right, lots of walls falling apart. Seems like that's the general rule around here. You see a large group of shambling mounds in the distance. Well, let's go say hello. Shambling mounds seem reluctant to touch an object near a dead cleric. Sounds like something we want. Shambling mounds attempt to drag a cleric body away. No, they don't. Not allowed. So how many we got? One, two, three, four. Just four. Four could be worse. Um, we still got a couple stinking clouds. Let's try Cone of Cold again. I don't know why. I mean, jeez. Oops. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to stuff like that. That's bad. That was very bad. All right, let's see if we can hit all of them. Well, it hit... See, I don't understand that. How did it hit this guy, but not this guy? It's like the cone of cold was like, it went here, and here, and then over this way and around. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, Alucard. All right, well, you're going to have to try to do that stinking cloud I had planned up. I'm counting on you, buddy. I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I got one. Still, not bad, not bad. Do you still have a Stinking Cloud? You do. Seems to me Stinking Cloud is the best spell. 
There you go. Half of the battle done, just like that. And Christina can't move till next turn because she was engulfed, I believe, was the word. Oops, I meant to uh, cast a, a uh, magic missile there. So that one recovered before we killed him instantly. It's annoying when that happens. Ouch. Alright, we, we need definitely need to do some magic missiles here. These guys do too much damage. That's going to speed things up considerably. It's got one HP left, that stupid thing. Ouch. These guys... Wow, I just... They seem to hit way easier than we can. And I mean, they only have an AC of zero. We have AC of negative three, negative five kind of stuff. Not wasting it on the one HP. There. It's kind of nice that we can have six magic missiles queued up here. This is probably what I should just do, though, is just give everyone magic missiles for these guys. Anyone who can cast magic missiles should. Alright. Whew! Please tell me we get something good from the dead cleric. The dead cleric clutches a bone wand. Treasure! There you go, mystic. You get yourself a wand and a wand of defoliation. Sounds interesting. Do you defoliate by casting a fireball or what? <laughs> Alright, let's get into another one of these buildings. Clerics with their mouth in hand sigils of Moander. Uh, Moander's bad, right? They just flee. Dressed in rags, just wait. They just flee. Alright, fix. Fix seems to be the way to do. Much quicker than messing around with all that... Uh, um, Casting spells and rememorizing them, wasting time. Eh, just wait. I'm not really trying to kill all these people. So, according to the map, there's a bunch of nines further down. Looks like it's just the same stuff, basically, as what I've been doing. Ten looks new, though. Christina notices a sinkhole. Well, maybe it's not that new. Uh, should I go see what the eleven is? There's been a lot of elevens we've done already. It's probably another sh... I don't know. Kill it! Kill it all! Fella McGubbins. I don't think you actually get any spells that help here. I mean, Fairy Fire maybe, but it so far has not helped us one time. <laughs> um, slow is, is not bad, I guess. It's only three. Manual target. Manual target. Manual target. Come on, Fairy Fire! Fairy fire is garbage, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I even try. I'm gonna put you here. Stinking cloud. Nope. Nope. Dang it. That would have been nice. Christina, you know what? Instead of attacking, it's more important to try to cast a stinking cloud. Seriously, just cast it there. 0 for 3 that time, unfortunately. No. No. That's not what I wanted to do. I just couldn't figure out how to go back like I wanted. Hit quit instead of exit, if you're wondering. Getting some good double hits in. That went pretty quickly. Definitely got that one down faster than usual. Let's focus down this one next. Fellow can keep that one occupied. I think as long as they're not, like, outnumbering us, it's not too bad. When we outnumber them, we can handle it pretty well. Wow, 
Well, I'm not going to put you in the smoke. Nope, I'm not going to do it. experience you're not really getting a whole lot from these shambling mound fights do i want to go up to 11 there's an eight is there's been a lot of eights on the map it's probably just a waste of time eight is more zentil keep terrorists 11 is more falling walls well, let's go kill the last um the last terrorist and then we'll wrap up this episode because i'm trying to kill all these guys right is that is that part of our job is to kill all these guys? I don't even know, but all right. So, um, ice storm works pretty well on. Oops, no, no, did not mean to move you there. Aim manual look around. So if I cast an ice storm right here, that'd be pretty good. So let's have you move. I actually will move you over as it turns out, just to hope that we've got the range here. Cast. Fella McGubbins, not so spelly. We'll try some hold person. It's a pretty tough fight, right? There's a lot of these guys. That should be a good ice storm. Pretty happy with that. Try to get some hold person in here. Got him. Well, two out of three. I'll take it. Now, there's still... Oops, no, no. Not what I wanted. Aim manual is how you look around. So we still have these two mages that are um, un they have been uninterrupted yet. What we're gonna try. I know we haven't had a lot of success with this lately. We're gonna try another. Oh, never mind. I was gonna try another um, cone of cold, but turns out he didn't have one ready. Ice storm it is. Uh, and I did see that one starting to cast already. I wonder if I can just switch off here quickly. I really don't want to have another one of those confusion days. Yeah, that's good. Dang it. Okay, it was only a lightning bolt. It could have been a lot worse. Managed to interrupt his spell. Alright, manual. That should hit... I'm never quite sure the radius on these ice storms. I don't think it's three. I think it's two. So casting it like here, if I center, shouldn't hit any of my party. But it should hit three fighters and the two mages. Nope. Definitely has a radius of three. Well, I'm sorry about that, fellow McGubbins. <laughs> uh... He's unconscious. He's at exactly zero, I think, or else we'd be able to bandage him. Sorry about that. Uh, you know how it is, right? You know. <laughs> it's all for the good of uh, the party in the long run. We'll figure it out. So, uh, cast another ice storm. We're going to figure these ice storms out one way or the other. That's what I want. That's what I say. Um... Let's do a magic missile on the cleric. These guys don't seem protected. There you go. Alright, manual. So, uh... Range of three? So this should hit... Hmm. If I put it there, it would hit Earth Darkness. Earth Darkness is fine, though. It didn't hit Earth Darkness that time, though. It's weird! Like... It has a, ra a radius of three, except not in a straight line, only diagonally. It's a little bit curious. Should see how much HP we've got. Kill this one first. Try to kill that one first. 27. Can't hit that one. Try to run away. So, uh, what I'm going to do here, because I'm going to test out whether or not, well, sort of test out if Fella McGubbins could be, uh, if we can manage to sneak him some, uh, some XP here. He's at zero HP, but partially healed. He'll have, 
you know, 3 to 17 HP now. But um, he doesn't get back up. But I think he might partake in experience now. I'm not sure. I don't even want to let these guys get one single attack on us. Cone of Cold, come on, you gotta hit all three. Nope. Cone of Cold is very confusing. It's a tough spell to get a hang of. Um. Well, this'll do. This guy's in a corner. Oops. It's always bad news when you're in a corner and someone's got a lightning bolt. We're gonna cast it right on top of them. Oh, well, sure it bounced back a little bit far, but <laughs> it would have hit that guy twice anyway. That was the whole plan. If I'd lined up horizontally, I could have moved back. I could have done that safer if I was smart. We did get a ton of experience out of that, though. And I think Fella's XP bar did go up, which is what I wanted. So lots of potentially magic stuff, but we don't need the money anymore. And Bracers of AC4, Splint plus one. This is plus one, right? Splint plus two. It's not bad. But uh, we don't need any more of it. Um, a javelin. It's a magic javelin that we haven't seen before. But still, I don't think I'm going to take it. No. And I think we're basically done on this uh, this map. Which means we're probably going to end the episode here. Let's fix. And uh, restore spells. This Well, okay. Just in case. Let's rest for like a whole day. And if I can make it for a day, then I'm pretty sure we could have restored all of our spells, naturally. Just would have taken a while. And uh, that's that. Alright folks, looks like we've basically finished this area. It looks like the Pits of Morander are next, and that should be fun. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.